Hi, it's Sarah from The Blogging Bunch, and we are back again for another weekly hangout. Um, we're on our new Any Meeting Conference uh, line instead of doing Google Hangouts so that you can see all of us, although Carrie's having trouble hearing us today, but um, hopefully uh, Any Meeting will work out a little bit better for us. We can see your chat room. We can see the chat room right away. We don't have to keep flipping back and forth to other pages like we do in Google Hangouts. Um, so we can see what you're asking right away. I can screen share and still see what's going on. You can see all of us and not flip back and forth. So, I'm Sarah. I blog at thebloggerman.com and I also blog at Play to Learn with Sarah. Um, it's parenting productivity blog. Oh, we have a um, we have a guest speaker. That's right. My name is Carrie and I blog at carryl.com and I'm getting ready for consignment sale, so it's not always as messy behind me. I tried to block out most of it. And I blog about Dallas and parenting. <laughs> and I'm Elizabeth, and I blog at rockabyparents.com, and I apologize if I start seeing like crazy because I'm sick, and I've got a, a little buddy here with me today. Um, and I blog at rockabyparents.com, and I blog about parenting, single parenting, Disney, blogging, all that good stuff. All that fun stuff. Yeah, we're all a little off today. Not and kids and other things going on today. So, but back to school time. <laughs> back to school time. Um, first off, I want to say congratulations to all three of us. We are at one thousand three members of our Facebook group. <laughs> so glad to have all of our um, as my preschool teacher or pre kid preschool teachers would say, our new friends. Um. <laughs> And that bugs me. Does that bug you? Anyway. Um, friends? Yeah. I had a kid's friends when I saw them. Yeah, we talk, she always talks about her friends, but, but yeah. they're not really her friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so we've got a, over a 1,000 members in our group. We're planning a giveaway just for our members, so be sure that you are checking into our Facebook group. It'll be coming soon um, once we get it all together. Um, and then today we wanted to talk about, somebody asked about, well, how do you get ideas and how do you know what to blog about? And Carrie and I were just talking about how um, I said I read a great quote the other day, which Shannon, I hope you heard, um, and it was that progress, not perfection. A lot of us are perfectionists. We want to be perfect. We want, and want Our blog has to be absolutely perfect. Um, and if you saw my blog when I first started, you would know that it wasn't anywhere near perfect um, and still isn't, but it's getting there. Um, anyway, progress. you got to start somewhere. Now I've got over 500 posts on my site, and um, many of them could be erased because they're not perfect. But I did it, and I started. So how do you come up with ideas? How do you get an idea? You know, there are people that post twice a day every day of the week. And there are people that post once a week. Like, how do you get the ideas for what you're going to do? So the very first thing that I think that you should do is, um, well, if you're just starting, you don't have any analytics to go from, I would think, I, what I do is make a list of what are the main topics of my blog. So if I were to do, and I just grabbed a piece of paper, right? Just, um, I keep scrap paper for the kids. And I just grabbed a piece sheet of paper here. You can see, um, and I, monetization. On the blogging bench, we talk about monetization. We do tutorials. We talk about um, how to use social media, things like that. So those are the um, those are the main topics that we talk about on the blogging bench. And I would just go through and list out ideas. Just list out ideas. Because remember, you don't want your post to be more than 500 words. 300 words minimum, 500 words maximum. Because once it gets past 500 words, you can make it into a series and have somebody come back or click another link to another post. So um, making it, making three to 500 words really comes pretty quickly. And um, so if you're just going through monetization, how am I gonna, how am I gonna get money? How are people gonna get money from blogging? Um, we also, another thing you can see, I've got lists upon lists of um, things. Another one I wanted to get into um, doing more um, doing more posts for learning to read. So I've got lists upon lists. Here's the topics that you use to learn to read. Here's posts that I could do um, for learning to read. Uh, I have 
really, I have lists upon lists. Um, Carrie and I, when we met back in July, which was way too long ago, we really got to do that again. Um, we went Sorry, through and, yeah. I know. <laughs> Left me up here all by my little own thumb. Uh-oh. Your video isn't matching your... Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> your, <laughs> your mouth was not <laughs> moving, but she was talking. <laughs> Yeah, I've been getting that from Sarah, too. Huh. Um, so what Carrie and I did, we said, okay, in August, what are the big, you know, put your months at the top. What are the big topics that are in each month? And we just made lists, okay? Topics for August, topics for September, October, November, December. And we're going into a big blogging time. You're going to get, you know, this last quarter, you're going to get a lot of um, traffic on your blog, especially if you're sticking with posts that are um, that are time sensitive because um, there's so many holidays. But we went through and we said, oh, there's back to school. We could do lunch ideas, grandparents' day, apples, pumpkins, Halloween, um, crock pot meals. That, that's worked out for Carrie this week. Um, anything. <laughs> uh, and then we took, I just folded a piece of paper. Like, we're really technical about this. Um, I folded a piece of paper into thirds, and then I folded it in half again. <laughs> and then I opened it up, and I wrote back to school, lunch ideas. And then we went through, and we just brainstormed what were things that you could write about. We've got, I've got two pages of these that we did, and then we took um, our editorial calendar and we said, okay, what are we going to do first? Oh, well, first we're going to do uh, back to school, I'm going to do a principal, and then I'm going to do a grandparents' day um, activity, and 30 lunch ideas, and you just go through and you, you plug them in. Um, it, really, it really comes pretty quickly. It, we sat, um, we had some good heroes, and we sat at a restaurant and we just like got it all out. Um, so, that was some really excellent comments. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was a good place. It was one of that those like place. really Great. scary neighborhood. Like only yeah. the people and like they they lock the windows down at night. But it's so um, weird. We closed the place down. <laughs> it was like seven. eight when we were dead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, just going through and making lists. And you will find that you have list upon list upon list. And obviously, you know, I, I'm a pa I go to paper and then I go I go back and forth or Evernote. Um, you know, like whatever works for you. Just um, put it down. Print out a calendar. You can type up a free. You can type in Google free calendar and um, write it in there every day or every other day or once a week. What you're gonna write about so that you know when you get that 15 minutes to actually sit down and write. Um, you can get going. Also, um, it gives you, uh, okay, I know I'm going to work on, like this week I have an orange smoothie post that I need to get up today. Um, but I took the pictures. I made the smoothie on Monday and took the pictures and, you know, edited the pictures so that I knew it was coming. So now I can sit down and get the post up quickly and not have to um, be like, oh, man, i got to take the whole entire day to work on it. Um, so knowing what's coming is going to help you with your productivity also. Um the next thing that I wanted to show you was we did go um, a couple of, let's see. Um, did, you do that, Sarah? did you just make my screen black? Okay. Never mind. It says, yeah. Okay, I didn't know if it, I might, never mind. We're good. Ah, there we go. See, you can still see us. Can you still see us? Yeah, in two places. Oh, yeah. Two places? <laughs> Seriously, we're up top and on the side. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I can't see us up top, so I I can just see you if I put you on the side there. Um, so Google Hangouts here, you can see what did we do? Surviving the summer slump. Good things to talk about. Um, webmasters, number twelve. Somebody else's phone going off too. Um, Google no, webmasters was never sorry. He's on the tablet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, in Google Webmasters, what you can do is you sign into your Webmasters, make sure that you follow that um, Hangout, and then go to Search Queries and see. This is how you get log into your Google Analytics. It says, "Oh, I'm not going to tell you what people are searching to get to your site." But if you go to Webmasters, you can find out what people are searching. Um, 
And then I can see what's getting, I always organize it by clicks. So what's getting us the most clicks? Pro quoters making quotes. So I might want to think about doing another quote post. Um, AdSense, AdSense, tweets. Um, Facebook page, Facebook page, Gmail signature, AdSense, Facebook. So um, this is how I got, this is also how I came up with monetization. If you see the ones that are getting the most clicks for us, we've got AdSense. So um, it's quite a lot at the top. We're getting, um, if I and if I organize it by impressions, you can also see AdSense, AdSense. Ooh, that new calendar got a few. Um, TweetDeck, AdSense. So, um, Goodness gracious. Um, AdSense, tweets, tweets. <laughs> um, you can see that social media is going to be a big one and monetization. Um, so I went there to get um, the ideas for our post. So definitely AdSense. I want to do more since Google's already sending us traffic about how to use AdSense, how much does AdSense pay, then that's another post that we should be putting up. We're uh, we're already getting posts for pro quoter, so I would want to maybe try do another one about how to make posts, um, how to make quotes with that. Um, so just think about what you're getting traffic for and what you can get more traffic for. Um, and this one here under Google Index and Content Keywords, this is what Google says your top keywords are: blog, obviously, um, post, social media. There we go. So that's going to be something that we need to talk about more. WordPress, that's one we talk about a lot, and more tutorials. So under my tutorials list, I would write WordPress tutorials, and then I could brainstorm tutorials for um, that we would want to do. Efficient, efficient blogging. Um, we've done a few about how to, and I just gave you a few tips, about how to be efficient while blogging. Facebook, um, Sarah, look at me. Design, Gary, work. Where's Elizabeth? I don't know. SEO, um, and that might be season number 20 for us, and if we want to move that up, then we would want to do more tutorial or more SEO posts and um, watch that one come up in, in the ranks. And tutorials, that's one we want to put, we want to definitely move up in the rank because we want to be known for helping you all and helping you get your um, posts up. So more tutorials, more SEO, those would be things that we'd want to move up into the top 10. You can also go and, oops, wrong button, search queries. We could type in filter and type in SEO and see what exactly the searches are that are coming for us. <laughs> Not many. What does SEO ready, ready mean? mean. <laughs> um, <laughs> powered by WordPress, SEO by Yoast. I think we've done, we've got to, uh, tutorials on that one. Blogger versus WordPress SEO, SEO image versus title. Um, powered by SEO stats. What does SEO mean? So those are all things that we could write about. We could take all of those ideas and write about, those could be our post topics. Um, you definitely want to, um, I think it's this intro to SEO hangout that we did where we talk about um, how to do Google, use Google AdWords for your keyword planner. So definitely look into that one too. And to learn how to do, so you take it from, woo, you take it from your um, Google AdWords or Google Webmasters, take it to your um, Google AdWords keyword tool planner and find out what keywords um, are getting a lot of low competition but moderate traffic. Um, I would definitely start out with less than 3,000 <laughs> in the competition. Um, but using all of, using all those tools to really make strategic um, choices. I was talking with someone the other day about how you don't need to post often, but you need to be posting strategically. You know, there are people that post often and strategically, and that's how they move up quickly in the ranks. But um, even if you're not posting often, if you're posting good, solid posts, and you're using keyword, um, you're using keywords that are solid. You're you're still going to not have to put in as much time into it, um, and still get some traffic. Anybody else? Yeah, and to um, you know, you, the other thing you can do, if you just are looking to write something, if you don't have a, um, you don't want to write about, you don't want to do a Halloween post or a craft. That's not your thing. You don't want to do a recipe. Um, Google writing prompts. I have a writing prompt post that gives me ideas to get you started. 
but just start writing. Like I think that's the biggest. Um, and vlogging is not just about writing anymore, so it, it's not just about writing. But I think sometimes when you get when you get stuck, if you don't know where to start, the best place to start is just today I went to the store. You know, whatever, just anything. Just start put something up there and just let it, run with it, and then you can go back and you can edit it later. You can redo your photos later. You know, just so long as you're getting something out there. And then I usually find that I get more ideas from that. So once I start writing, then I'm like, oh. This, 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 you know, start, you know, writing a list of other things that I, I could write about. So just start. Don't give yourself any excuses. Don't say I can't because I don't have it in me right now. I'm not feeling really creative. You know, you just have to sit down and just write something. It's, yeah, it doesn't have that to be perfect. Walk around your house. Is there something that you use every day that you totally love? I so did a post with a video about my new planner yesterday. And I posted, yeah. like, hey, this is how I use it. This is how I set it up. Um, you know, I, I I bought something. And guess what? I linked it to Amazon also so that then I've monetized that post. So, you know what else I'll do also is I do this um, if I feel like I've got too much sponsor post or it's all, like, holiday stuff and there's not enough personal post and, you know, I'm not really writing like I like to write. If I don't know what – if I don't have something, I'll go through pictures. Because pictures are really a big part of my blog now too. I really want good pictures, so I'll I'll look at pictures on my phone or pictures that I've taken with my camera lately and find a picture that I like, and then I'll just build a post around that too. Right, right. Or just and a post got, of pictures. These were yeah. my favorite pictures from the week, Shannon. These were my finds at you know when I was going through the shit, shit thrift stores this week. <laughs> wow, I need a beeping button apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be all words. Just um get yeah. something get something up, get something out there, um and uh get going. Cause Shannon has an awesome looking blog these days. That's awesome. Because somebody <laughs> helped her. <laughs> anyway um, I am, <laughs> I can't. I can't hear you guys again, so oh, no. just roll I... with it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's time to cut and run. Wait. Um, <laughs> you see. That one. Anyway, I taught Carrie bad words, yeah, in sign language before, so, yeah, just ignore us. We're all a little off today. <laughs> um, so, check our web, check our hangouts, check our Facebook group, we've got Check our blog. We've got so much information for you. And just get started. Get going. Um, you'll never get there if you don't if you don't get started. And I um, hope that you have a great day. And we will see you all later. Bye, Carrie. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it to stop. <laughs>